The, uh, a couple of things. I, I just mentioned this to the players. The press at halftime was Chris Wilson's idea. He asked me if they could take a shot at one possession. Um, we have been thinking about coming out in the second half of games, showing a little something. Um, so that was, that was Chris. And then the other guy that gets credit here is Halil. You know, because a guy, rather than worrying about a minutes, as it start as we started to play uh, better basketball in the second half, he was the one that said, uh, "Let those guys ride it out." You know, normally I would look to get my sixth man in the game at the first media timeout, and I did think we were we got a little bit tired, um, but it was the defense. It was the defense. You know, you come out and hold a team 19 points in the second half. They shoot 24%. Uh, we, we got just about every assignment right in the, the second half. Um, and that's coming off as bad a play as you could possibly make at the end of the half. I mean, we, did, we didn't get our matchups, and kid drills in and shoots a lot. So, you know, work to do. And now they get a chance Saturday to play a Philadelphia game at the best building in college basketball. So what more did you ask for? Phil, because of your depth, I know you can't press all the time, but does this give you pause to maybe look at this more often? No. No, we'll, we'll, we'll use it. You know, we had some, some success with it. But we dabbled with this uh, four or five days ago in practice. <laughs> for something different. We have to have something different. You know, and it, it, for the fact of, like, let's play a little bit. Um, but, you know, we're not going to be – I mean, their tongues were hanging. You know, I, I took the one time out, I think, with about six or seven minutes left. Um, and then we had a uh, juggle there with Halil with four and, and Lang with four. Phil, did you imagine it could ever be that effective? Because, I mean, it changed the whole game. Well, I think that that uh, I, I think it led to uh, more bounce in our step defensively at the half court. You know what I mean? Like they threw it away one time. Uh, one time the referees missed. The kid walked like three different times. Um, um, but but I've been looking for something in a, in our second half because our history has been when they're away from us. The scouting report kind of leaves their mind a little bit. And even a, a basket at the end there, the kid made a three, and, and we missed a defensive assignment there. CJ was supposed to blitz that ball screen. Um, but, you know, like I just said, that's theirs. They, 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 they brought that. Uh, it's not something that we spend a lot of time on, nor will we spend a lot of time on. But, uh, you know, to, to get out, I guess we scored uh, the first 10 points. 15. 15. So, you know, it seems, seems like that could be a real, real weapon for you, though. Do you, do you think, like, if you had more depth, is that what would limit? We you? are what we are. I mean, you you just saw it. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, like Evan gave us what he could give us. We have a Lil as a as a guy, and you know Darius didn't have it tonight. So, I mean, yeah, I wish we could press. I wish we could play zone. I wish that we could run fast break every time down. I wish we could do all that stuff that you watch on TV. We can't. We do what we do. So on the last play, you need one more basket to win the game. You're down late. Langston's made one basket the whole game, but you make that call. Well, it was, that wasn't, again, it, the call was really, we got what we wanted. Uh, we wanted an isolation with him in the short corner. And we wanted him to be a little bit crafty, maybe an up and under. Uh, and, uh, you know, he he stepped back. And, you know, the ball the ball left his hand. I mean, that's the only way I could say it. I'm not knocking a guy. He, he shot two air balls in the first half. That's an all-league player shot two air balls in the first half and didn't score. We're, we're not beating anybody. You know what I mean? Like, we're, we're just not beating anybody if that's, you know, what we're getting. And, and you know, there's, there's possessions and... So, 
we grind it. weren't weren't pretty, but we grind it. And to his credit, he stepped back. And I've always said this: like, if you're if you think you're a good player, you're willing to live with the consequence. Because if we if he misses that, you know what I mean? You get blasted, uh, and you got to lay into him. And he made the shot. Well said at, at halftime that led to the spark to come out in the second half. What was said? At halftime. Um, it was very analytical, to be honest with you. See, I think this is all overblown. Uh, and, and my coaches are, are, are guilty of it. And they're telling me that they're not trying hard. No, they're trying hard, not playing well. You know what I mean? Like, they're not playing well. And everybody gets confused and says, they're not trying hard. No, no, they're trying hard, not playing well. They had 10 points in the first half against off of our turnovers. They had 10 points. They had five offensive rebounds. A team that gets eight offensive rebounds. So we didn't play well. Not we didn't play hard. It's the biggest misnomer out there about teams. Like they'll say, oh, well, that team. No. You know, and be, when the game started, I said, everybody wants to win. They want to win. We want to win. But you have to have the will. And in the second half, we had the will. Phil, do you usually listen to, like, when Chris brought the number? I listen to them all the time, Aaron, to be honest with you. You know what I mean? Like, I, I listen to them uh, because they're out there, and they, and they have a they have a certain feel. Now, saying that, you know what I mean? Like, I'm going to praise the kid for that idea. And then in a tight situation, Langston's fourth foul is him chasing a guy. He, No disrespect, he can't guard me that far from the basket. But he gets, you know, the, you got to, you got to, got to stay within yourself here. So, um, you know, I thought it was a really good idea. You know what? Yeah, let's get a possession so that we don't look like, woe is me. Phil, how about your plan to guard the perimeter? They came in as the second best three point shooting team in the conference. You held them to six of 20. Can you just talk about what you tried to accomplish there? Well, we, we really paid attention to the dribble handoffs. Um, which I think they're really good at, and we tr really try to pay attention to the ball screen. And I think that, uh, like for instance, look who got their threes. Uh, Derek Williams got a three, and uh, Terry Allen got a three. You know, so uh, they're a challenge. I mean, that that's a challenging way to play uh, defense, and we did it. And again, the players did it. Like, it wasn't a plan. It wasn't like, okay, here you go. I got, I got watched enough film. Here's the plan. They executed the plan. Um, and like I said, we missed, we missed one in the second half there. But their half-court offense didn't get us in the first half because our turnovers got us. Was there any specific plan to do with brothers? Yeah, guard them when the bus pulled up, really. Yeah. You know, we, we just had to be aware. Uh, you know, we had a couple of looks, and they got one. They ran the double down there. We knew that that was a play for him. They, they run a few more plays than than normally Chris's teams do. Um, so the, the the double for brothers. Chris Wilson kept running, and the kid missed a shot. Now it's interesting. He's a he's a right-handed shooter, and he was going from the left side of the floor to the right. So he turns back into it. So we were able to run that one down, and then everything else late. We were always looking for the dribble handoff. Because against VCU, they dribbled down and, and he th ran behind. They threw a flip shot, a, a flip to him. He's got quick, quick. He's quick out of his hands. You know, he's like Clark from Butler, um, like Pat Carroll that we had. He, they get the ball out of their hands quickly. Wonderful, wonderful player, really. Talk about the play of Carl Jones. Well, I, I, I thought that in the beginning of the game, he scored the ball. Um, and then late when we were going offense, defense, we put the ball in his hands. Um, he needs to be more uh, assertive, particularly at the end of the shot clocks. Um, and you got to make your free throws. So, you know, he's, he's did tonight what he's done. He scored points. Tonight is team one. So he gets credit for that. Otherwise, it's just scoring points. What would you take away from this game as you get ready for the South? That we have practice tomorrow at 4 o'clock. We've got a lot to work on. And I'm sure that there will be a lot of energy uh, a lot of energy on Saturday afternoon at 1 o'clock. We get a chance to play for a championship, and it's right in front of us. And, you know, unless you don't have blood uh, pumping through your veins, 
then I think I'll have their attention Thursday and Friday. All right, thanks. Thank you. Sal, yeah, Sal, one by three. And, uh,